In this video, we're going to be talking about scene markers. Scene markers live in the timeline and serve as visual indicators for anything, really. We create them by first picking a spot, let's say right around here where she enters the frame and her foot hits the puddle. And we can just right click in this dotted area right here underneath the regged time head, go down to scene markers and hit mark current frame. That pulls up our timeline scene marker dialog box. And if we click in the color, it allows us to change the color. Let's make it blue. Hit OK. And then we'll even put a little note here. We can type in first splash and hit OK. And now if I move my time head out of the way, you'll see there's a little blue dot denoting on that frame. And oh, look, it's beating me to the punch. On that frame, we have a note. And if you hover over top of it, it will tell you the tooltip that you just wrote in, first splash. So I know but without even scrubbing to it, to that point in time, that is where, boom, her first splash happens. The second way of creating C markers is by creating a, by creating a selection. So let's see, how about right here? She's going to be kicking with that screen left foot to splash some water on the background behind her. So we can select a range. Let's just say, oh, from frame 61 to around here someplace. That looks pretty good. So we can drag with our stylus or mouse. And you'll see the range is being selected. I can right click, go to scene markers again, and hit create scene marker. Let's change the color so we can see it. I'll make it yellow and hit OK. And I'll say kicks the water. Hit OK. And now you'll see that my I have a range of scene marker right here. And if I hover over top of it, kicks the water over the course of this these frames right here. So again, scene markers are a very handy way of visually denoting action within our scene. We delete them by highlighting them right-clicking, scene markers, and delete scene marker. We can edit them by going down, making our selection, right-clicking once again, and we can go to edit scene marker. Maybe I'll add some exclamation points for splash. Hit OK, and now our scene marker has been updated. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.